What's up, YouTube? Do you see Thanos in the Avenger movies? Do you love Thanos? Do you love it even more when Thanos is super overpowered and that no one or thing in the universe can beat him or stop him? Well then, this video is for you. I am going to make Thanos super overpowered and no one's going to be able to stop him or beat him in my Jurassic World game. He will have rigged abilities and have the Infinity Gauntlet with all 5 Infinity Stones. Or the 6 Infinity Stones. Oh well. This probably won't even be challenging if you select Thanos as a character in my game. But anyways, let's go. Hey guys, Castlace here with Castlace Tech, helping to teach you how to build your own game bigger, better, and of course, more fun. And here on this channel, I make easy to follow tutorial videos on how to create animations, add special effects, or add features like buttons, levels, bosses, enemies, you name it, all into your Unity game, just like this video. I also make videos of me creating Unity games and playing it, like my Jurassic World game series, where I create from scratch and build an entire Jurassic World game filled with dinosaurs. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So let's go. So I hope you watched Avengers Infinity Wars and Avengers Endgame because there will be some slight spoilers in this video about his like abilities from the movies or maybe there that really isn't considered spoilers. But anyways, well you've been warned. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. The destiny still arrives. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. I will have to say that I like Thanos and respect Thanos for being very powerful and stuff, except for the fact that he's evil and trying to wipe out half the life in the universe in the movies and stuff, but oh well. In the movies, they didn't really give him all the abilities he's supposed to have from like the comic books, which was like a little bit disappointing for me, because he actually had some really good abilities and I felt like some of those would have been pretty helpful in the movies if he had him. I don't think, you know, the Avengers characters would have beat him. Well, some of his abilities include energy manipulation and control, telepathy, matter manipulation and control, curse casting. <laughs> he can curse people like, you know, voodoo dolls, magic, all that. He could curse them apparently. Flight, teleportation. Man, those are some really good abilities. He technically got those abilities right when he got almost all the infinity stones. So I guess he had them and guess he didn't. But, you know, oh well. But he was pretty hard to beat when he had like a couple of those abilities already as you can see like the avengers were like struggling when they're fighting him except for dr strange he fought an even ground i would say i don't know it's my opinion i loved how he was able to use those abilities in the movies though and even like the part where he tossed a moon at iron man that was pretty epic But I was hoping he tossed the entire moon intact at Iron Man, but uh, he kind of used like the Infinity Stones to kind of like break pieces of it. I wasn't sure break pieces of the moon off and then like flung it at Iron Man. So he, yeah, well, yeah, anyways. That was slightly disappointing because I want the entire moon to kind of like fall down and like, you know, in those other movies where the, pl the, the two planets collide and explodes. But you know, I guess that wouldn't be in a movie anymore because all the Avengers will be gone, you know, if that did happen. <laughs> <sighs> the two collide at over 25,000 miles an hour, 12 times faster than a bullet. The impact destroys the smaller planet. The Earth survives, but only just. Then I was like, wow, I don't think anywhere else in the movie can kind of top that. 
but he did. I don't know if anybody noticed, but he used the space stone and tossed a black hole at Doctor Strange. I was like, wait, what? Was that a black hole he just tossed? And I kind of was thinking, well, I think that kind of topped the moon tossing. But the funnier part was when Doctor Strange turned her right back into butterflies and then just flung it right back at him. I was like, no way, really? Get out of here. Was that really a black hole? And a black hole is a thing or point in space where it bends space and time itself. And Thanos just casually created it and tossed it at Doctor Strange like it was no big deal. I do not even know what's more impressive, Thanos creating it? and then tossing it, or the fact that Doctor Strange can just turn a black hole into butterflies, right? Am I right, guys? I'll let you decide that. Okay, okay. Now imagine with me. What if Doctor Strange, like, teleported or dodged that black hole instead of turning it into butterflies? Then won't that black hole, like, start absorbing everything and pulling in all the matter from around the area and on that planet and then growing and growing and like sucking everything and everyone into it and eventually it'll grow so big it kind of would suck the whole entire planet maybe even the solar system who knows Well, that's gonna kind of end the movie there because you know Iron Man, the Guardians of the Galaxy, they all kind of just get sucked in there, and there'll be no movie. <laughs> and Thanos just could just and Thanos could just teleport out of there, so he's safe for sure. But I can't say the same for everyone else, like Iron Man, that can't teleport. Thanos would have kind of just won by default by just creating a black hole and uh, sucking everybody up, all the Avengers, Guardians, Galaxies, and maybe the whole entire solar system. Who knows? So I wouldn't even know how. He was going to bring back the time stone because if that black hole had sucked up Doctor Strange as well and you know Doctor Strange was carrying the time stone at that time so it would have been in the black hole and you know kind of would have been crushed into like billions of pieces or even you know atoms disintegrated who knows and and you know he didn't and that was a time stone so he can't really use the time stone to reverse time again and kind of get it back so how would that have worked out you know i don't know if he thought it through when he just created a black hole and tossed it and he was like yeah you know i'm just yeah i'm just gonna toss a black hole and not really think things through thanos mm, maybe i don't know that's that's all i'm saying you know maybe you, you know put some comments down below and tell me what you think about that part because i was just like uh, eh, you know well anyways in my game i'm gonna make him unstoppable just like that for fun you know because i you know i love powerful characters and everybody likes to win so if you pick Thanos in my game you'll just win easily so no dinosaurs or characters in my game will be able to stop him you will see I might even make it so that I will have to use Thanos and fight like a hundred dinosaurs just for fun and it'll be just too easy I bet you haven't seen that before in YouTube am I right or am I wrong huh 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 well this will make things really interesting that's for sure or maybe not oh well who knows you know you gotta just push the boundaries and try new things am I right if there's something you want to see me use Thanos to fight, put it down in the comments down below. Or maybe if there's a type of dinosaur you want to see me use Thanos fight against, also put that down below in the comments too. Alright, let's see what we got for Thanos so far. Alright, so uh, there was a lot of sprites for Thanos and I had to filter a lot and there was a lot of work put in. So I don't really have that many animation done for him yet. So yeah, so let's see what we got. We got the idle animation as you can see. I have the walking animation right here. Check it out. Thanos. All right, hold up. Let me just kind of push everything out of the way so that, you know, they're not distracting Spider-Man. Owen, please. Excuse me. There we go. All right. Check out Thanos. I like how he walks. His walking animation makes him look really confident. Like he's like, yeah, I'm the boss of this place, which he kind of is, you know. And uh, yeah, idle animation, walking animation. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, yes. Here we go. Energy blast. Check it out. Energy blast. Man, that looks so cool. I, I think this movie is just not going to shoot an energy blast. It's just kind of create an energy, you know, damage spot. So, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I like that. That looks pretty cool. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> funny thing is that's all I have. 
I only had like three animations, guys. But I'll tell you why. I've actually been working on Thanos' super secret move. I was trying to figure out the program and code for a black hole and test out in my game where the black hole can like suck up all the enemy units and deal damage at the same time. So if you remember that black hole that Thanos tossed at Doctor Strange? Yeah, that's right, that black hole. You know what I mean. Thanos will be tossing black holes in my game or even summoning black holes in my Jurassic World game. So I don't know, uh, may it could be an ultimate. He'll be using it against dinosaurs, that's for sure. That's gonna be pretty epic. So as soon as I fix the bugs and figure out how that's gonna work and add it to my game and add it to his abilities, then you will see how it's gonna be. So don't forget to stay tuned for the next video. Well, that's all I have for you for today. Like and share this video if you like Thanos or you enjoy the video, of course. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me what abilities you wanna see me add to Thanos or other characters you wanna see me use in my game. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification button because that's really important to see the next videos. Also, check out my other videos like the one where I added Spider-Man to my game and use them to fight some dinosaurs. There's gonna be some cool sound effects and special abilities. Well, that's it. See ya later. Mm, check it out. I'm Thanos. I'm confident. That's right. I'm the boss. I rule this uh, Jurassic World. Uh, energy blast. Energy blast. Walking. Mm, mm, mm. Energy blast. Yeah, Thanos. Sweet. Whoops. Well, what was that? Ooh. Hope you didn't see that. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't finish editing the animation, so that's why he's there. <laughs> Energy Blast. Da -da -na -na -na.